the original Zombies characters, Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey, who all died at the end of Black Ops 4, could be making a return to COD Zombies. According to this article that was put out by Insider Gaming, which is a very good source, they said several sources have revealed that the original Call of Duty Zombies crew might be making a return in COD 2025. This news comes from several sources who were invited to the Call of Duty 2025 playtests and feedback sessions, where it was revealed that the original crew for Zombies are set to make their return. Dempsey, Tank, Takio and Nikolai, I think they've made a mistake there because Tank and Dempsey are the same people, so either they actually meant Tank, Dempsey, Takio and Nikolai, or Dempsey, Richtoff and Takio and Nikolai, but but either way, the original characters were all said to be featured as a part of the feedback session, with one Eagle Eyed Zombies fan stating that the versions of the characters were not Ultimus, and that they also looked older than Primus. According to the same sources, the zombie storyline will evolve around a new enemy character who wants to absorb the Dark Aether essence of the original four characters and bring back the old multiverse. Sources said the main zombies map will be transit inspired, with some form of travel system to navigate around the map. One source who was part of such playtests also revealed that there was the plan to have six total zombies maps throughout the life cycle of COD 2025, but whether or not the game scope has changed is unclear. It's worth stressing that these playtest events usually have some variation to the details in order to gain valued feedback and potentially pinpoint the origin of leaks. However, from what we've been able to determine, this information has been at various different feedback events worldwide over the past 12 months or so, suggesting that the information is almost certainly accurate. But never say never. Per Insider Gaming's report, COD 2025 is set to be a Black Ops 2 sequel. It is understood that the game's campaign follows Harper and Mason as they try to save the world from a new villain following the death of Menendez. Now before I continue on and ask the question, is this even a possibility storyline-wise? Does it make sense? Can I see this being something Troyok will actually do? There are one or two things I want to say first. Obviously, I'm extremely skeptical about this because we are still one year away from Call of Duty 2025 releasing, which means so much can change within that time. It also means a lot of what's in that game right now, a lot of what playtesters would have experienced will just be placeholders. So if these people have already playtested Zombies for 2025 and got to play as Takio, Nikolai, Dempsey and Richtofen, there is a pretty high chance I would say that they could just be placeholder characters. However, they do say they didn't look exactly like their Ultimus selves and they didn't look exactly like their Primus versions either. They were older than Primus, but perhaps younger than Ultimus, which would suggest that they are entirely new models that Troyarch have created, which then wouldn't make sense if they were just placeholders. However, knowing Troyarch, especially when it comes to the zombie side of their mode, they keep everything as tight as possible and so something as important as the characters being revealed to playtesters when they know very well there's a high chance at least one person who playtests the game is going to leak something. Troyok will know that and so for them to allow playtesters to play as the characters that they plan to have that makes me extremely skeptical because Troyok would know for certain yeah someone's going to leak this someone's going to tell everyone that Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey are back so perhaps we force them to play as other characters that aren't related to the story such as operators. That for me also casts a huge doubt over this as well or even as Insider Gaming says in this article Troyok sometimes will intentionally put things in there for playtesters to try out, knowing that it would be juicy information if they were to leak it. But then they can also point out the person that's leaked that information because it was only their version of the game that they would have experienced that. However, putting all of those doubts to the side, let's just say this is real. Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey are returning in COD 2025. What does this mean for the storyline? And is it even possible? Does it make sense? And actually... I think after learning what we have so far from the Black Ops 6 Zombies storyline, it's not that far-fetched. There are some things that have taken place so far. There are things that Richtofen has been up to which leave me extremely suspicious that actually, even before this information came out, I was asking the same question in the back of my mind. When I saw the Terminus ending, I was saying, hang on, so we've got Prime Materia, we've got the Sentinel Artifact, we know Richtofen is also experimenting with time travel, which of course existed in the old storyline that Nikolai, Takio and Dempsey are in, but so far, time travel isn't a part of this new Dark Aether story. However, we've learned from Terminus and Liberty Falls, Richtofen is experimenting with that again, which makes me think he's up to something here. Besides from the obvious one of him trying to get his family back, his wife and son that died in a house fire, I think Richtofen's up to a lot more. And there was a point where I thought, could he, as crazy as it sounds, for some reason be trying to bring back Nikolai Takio and Dempsey. I thought that myself even before I saw this leak. So storyline-wise, we don't know where Black Ops 6 is going to end up yet, but 
I could definitely see it happening. Now, the last time we saw these characters was in the final map for Black Ops 4, Tag Their Totem, where in that ending cutscene, they sacrificed themselves in order to destroy the multiverse and give these two children that exist in the current Dark Aether story, Richtofen and Samantha, a better life without zombies. That didn't go to plan. So Richtofen still exists. We've got him now in Black Ops 6 as a playable character, but those other ones, Taki and Nikolai and Dempsey, sacrifice themselves to destroy the multiverse. They are dead, their story is over, there's nothing else to tell with them. And so, one, how would Richtofen bring them back if they were killed and the multiverse was destroyed? There's no other versions of them out there, they are gone. It's not like you can travel to one of the many universes out there and just pluck one of them from it and bring it to him, because there isn't a multiverse anymore, it's just this one singular universe that we have in Black Ops 6. So if they were to come back, how would that even be possible? They do say in this article, which again, I'm extremely skeptical about, especially this part when they talk about the storyline, because I cannot see in any way Treyarch revealing this to a playtester. It's something they would keep locked up only for them to know. But this article tells us that the zombie storyline will evolve around a new enemy character who wants to absorb the dark ether essence of the original four characters and bring back the old multiverse. So that gives us a reason why they would be brought back. But who would be that new enemy character who would want to resurrect them and restore the multiverse? Richtofen? Yes, I could see a few reasons why he would want to bring Nikolai Takio and Dempsey back. We don't know 100% if he can remember their existence or if his memory was wiped as soon as he left the Black Ops 4 universe and entered the one in Cold War. We don't know whether his memory of Dr. Monty, Maxis, Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey and all of the other characters from that old storyline are still with him or not, or if he can only remember things from the point he stepped into this new universe. I mean, there's no reason why he shouldn't be able to remember it. There's no reason why his memory should have been wiped. All Eddie did was travel from one universe to another. We've seen our characters do that plenty of times and their memory is fine, besides from it being affected by 115 and the Dark Aether, but there's nothing to say he definitely shouldn't remember Taku Nikolai and Dempsey's existence and that he was friends with them as a kid. So that could be one reason why Richtofen would want to bring them back because they never got the chance that he did to grow up. Another reason why Richtofen could want them back is to help him to achieve whatever he's trying to do in the Black Ops 6 zombie storyline. We believe he wants to use the Sentinel Artifact to manipulate Prime Materia to bring his wife and son back, but I think there's so much more going on here. There's a bigger reason as to why he's doing what he's doing. And well, who are the characters who have always helped Richtofen to achieve his goals? Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey. So whatever he's trying to achieve in Black Ops 6, maybe he thinks he needs Nikolai, Takio and Dempsey to help him again. And so that could be another reason why he would try to bring them back. I'm trying to think of another character. The only other person that knew them that still exists is, of course, Samantha, but I can't see it being her. And just going back to the article where it tells us in COD 2025 Zombies, there will be a new enemy character who wants to absorb the dark essence of the original four characters and bring back the old multiverse. Who is this enemy character that wants to restore the old multiverse and why? If that's true, if it's someone that does want to bring back the multiverse, it must be someone who was around during its existence, which would then take us to people such as Dr. Monty or the Shadow Man. Now, we don't know their fates. At the end of Black Ops 4, they weren't killed. They were banished to the Dark Aether. Well, at least Dr. Monty was. As for the Shadow Man, we're not so sure about him. At that point in time, he was inside of the summoning key when it was destroyed, which leaves us with two options for him. Either his soul was destroyed along with it, or when the key was destroyed, his soul escaped and was also banished to the Dark Aether. So either the Shadow Man's soul was sent to the Dark Aether or destroyed, but Dr. Monty was definitely banished to the Dark Aether, which means at one point in this new Dark Aether story in Cold War and Black Ops 6, Dr. Monty existed. Now as to whether he's still alive, we don't know because, well, the Dark Aether does things to you. It can change you, it can turn you into a zombie, a Dark Aether creature. You can die in there simply due to starvation, or you could succumb to the threat of the zombies or even the Forsaken when he was in there. There are many threats in the Dark Aether that you could die from, but we know Dr. Monty wasn't a normal human being. He was a god you could describe him as. I actually think there's a much bigger chance of him being alive than a normal person. Dr. Monty could still be in the Dark Aether. If he is, well, he wouldn't be the same as the last time we saw him. He'd be changed. So could this new enemy character be Dr. Monty, but a now more corrupted, contorted version of him, which is why he's described as a new character. To me, it would only make sense that it's someone we know if this new enemy character is trying to restore the old multiverse by bringing back the original four characters and absorbing their Dark Aether essence. It would only make sense if it's the Shadow Man or Dr. Monty, not a new character because they wouldn't know about the multiverse. I'll be honest, I'm super skeptical about this article. There's like 5% of me that believes it, but the other 95% of me 
kind of wants this to be true. Just imagine how epic it would be. Yes, you could say their storyline's over, there's nothing to tell with them, but now we've got a completely new story in Black Ops 6 and their motives in COD 2025 could be totally different. They could now have a new goal. There is another thing I should mention, that's the fact that the voice actor for Takia, which is Tom Kane, did have a stroke. He's retired from voice acting since, so if Takia and Nikolai Dempsey did come back, Takia wouldn't be voiced by the same voice actor, which would be a bit of a shame to have him back, but not the same voice actor. I don't think that'd be a deal breaker like Woods, how it was James C. Burns originally that voiced him in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, but then when he returned in Cold War, he had a new voice actor. I don't think that would be the reason we wouldn't see him. More so, it would have to have something to do with with the storyline. They are definitely characters that Activision would want to bring back 100%, mainly for monetary reasons. I think they are characters that Troyok would bring back, but it's perhaps not an idea they're too keen on because they ended their story, they killed them off, and they're trying to move away from them and start anew. But actually, you know what I've just thought about? We know these characters we are playing as right now, Weaver, Grey, Strauss, and Carver, not Maya, but they're all going to die. In Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, we see they are dead. So at some point in time, our set cast of characters, our dedicated crew, Treyarch are going to kill them off. Perhaps in this game, by the end of Black Ops 6, they might be dead, which means in the next game, COD 2025, Treyarch will need to find a brand new set of characters for us to play us, which could be the return of the original characters, Richtof and Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey. Treyarch are going to need to find a new set of characters from somewhere, because we know these ones die whether it be in this game or the next one. Very soon, they will be killed off, which leaves room for the OG crew to come back. I would also like to see them return because like I mentioned earlier, we've got to see Richtofen and Samantha grow up, but we never got to witness Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey make that same progression. When we saw them as kids in Black Ops 3 Zombies, Richtofen and Samantha got to grow up and their story progress, which is what we saw in Cold War in Black Ops 6, but the other three didn't. Just going back to the storyline side and Tag the Totem, I've just thought, the child versions of Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey as a part of the Broken Cycle, were never actually given physical forms. They were still inside of the Summoner Key along with the Shadow Man, because Dempsey's soul was collected in the Rise and Draco, Takio's soul was collected in Zetsubo no Shima. However, the cycle was broken between Zetsubo no Shima and Gerard Karofi, which means their souls were never sent to Dr. Monty in the house where he turned them into children. And as for the soul of Nikolai, well, that was never collected at all. That was never in the Summoner Key because Gerard Karofi as part of the Broken Cycle didn't happen. It was only Takio and Dempsey who were inside of the summoning key when it was destroyed. Just like the Shadow Man, their souls could have been banished to the Dark Ether as well, which means Takio and Dempsey could also be inside of the Dark Ether right now, still in there, existing. I think there's a 1% chance, but you can't close that off because we don't know for sure. However, Nikolai's soul was never collected, so how you bring him back, I don't know. Look, I'm sure Treyarch would find a way, but with that multiverse being destroyed, it would be difficult. However, according to this article, according to these playtesters, they've played as Takio, Nikolai, Dempsey and Richtofen in COD 2025, where they were younger than Ultimus, but older than Primus. It's just whether you believe this or not. Oh, and I, I was going to end the video there, but I've just thought again, for anyone who's saying they won't bring that back, all of that stuff from the past is now left in the past. Well, the chaos story has returned. Drogh have literally resurrected a story that was done and finished in Black Ops 4. Let me correct myself, they didn't even finish it, they left it on a cliffhanger, they scrapped it, the Chaos storyline was never supposed to continue, mainly because it wasn't popular. We were supposed to get a year or two of it for it to continue in Black Ops 4, but it never did. We never heard anything about it in Cold War, but then all of a sudden we got a little mention of it in Vanguard, but everyone still thought, okay, Troco making a bit of a connection back to it, but they're not actually bringing back the whole of that storyline. However, in Black Ops 6, we've now seen from the Terminus ending, with the Sentinel Artifact and Prime Matera, the Chaos story is in full swing, it's fully connected to the Dark Ether story. So if Troyot can bring the Chaos storyline back and everything revolving around that, the characters Diego, Scarlet, Shaw, Bruno, we probably won't hear about, but who knows, we've heard of Alistair. But if Troyok have the confidence to bring back the Chaos storyline, then there is no doubt in my mind that they won't hesitate to do the exact same with the Ether storyline, with Nikolai, Takio, Dempsey, Dr. Monty, and everything else. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.